hey everybody and welcome back to diva style so in this video you guys we are going to be trying to create some uh paper flowers that i have um some little die cuts some little thinlets uh, from my sizzx i'm going to be trying to make some some a bouquet of flowers you guys i've never done it so i'm excited to see how this comes out um, I will be using my Sizzx. I also have some floral tape that I'm going to be using. That's going to be like the green tape that you see me use. Um, I'm going to be using these. I'm not sure if I'm going to wrap these with the tape or not. Like, I've never done this, so I just got the floral tape just in case I decide to do that. Um, I also will be using, like, hot fix tools to put in the center of the flowers. And for the actual flowers, I want to see how cardstock does. So I just have um, these cardstock sheets that I'm going to be. I know the thinlet is going to cut the cardstock, but when I go to try to shape the flower, I don't know how the cardstock is going to do. Like if it's going to bend correctly, I'll probably just use this to try to like curl the edges of the flower. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, oh yeah, if you guys want to know, this is where I got the, uh, the little sheets from. It's a lot of cute little colors up in here. You guys can always find, you know, these things on sale. You guys, this was 20 bucks, but look, I got it for $4.99. Y'all, I do not buy anything unless it is, like, on sale. I got a coupon or something like that. But, anywho, oh yeah, if you guys, if there's anybody out there who does, like, paper flowers and you notice I do you guys I'm all about the tips and the advice okay I'm here for it I also might be using this to also help curl the flowers I saw some people using it in their videos um don't know again don't know so what I'm about to go do first is I want to do 12 flowers so I'm going to cut um I'm going to use this and cut this on each you know each car stock sheet and then I'll be back all right you guys so I'm taking my last one out and I am already trying to think like how I'm going to shape these exactly because like I said um never really done this before right <laughs> so I did a uh, two of each of those patterns and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do like one of each you know one flower of each color and then for the other six i'm going to mix and match them i think that'll be really pretty uh okay so don't don't rush into this right <laughs> i have no idea how i'm gonna do this okay now watch mine don't come out like I saw everybody else's. Okay. You just. I don't know. Now see maybe she had like. Some um. Regular paper. Maybe hers was like paper and not. And not um car stock because this is not this ain't doing it all right so let's just do it this way okay so that gave like a little a little bit of a curl I guess and we can always fluff it up a bit okay so I mean not bad I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to find something smaller to curl it with, and then I'll be back. Alright, you guys. So, upon doing this, I actually found out. Or not found out. But each flower uh, printed out, like, six pieces. You know, like, there's six things. Um, it actually looks good with only three, rather than trying to use all six of them for one flower. So, yeah, I cut out way more than what I needed. But I'd rather have too much than not enough. And I'm just 
curling it with this and then fluffing it like that and as you can see it's got a little you know a little curl to it a little bit I didn't do this one now for the like tiny little pieces in the middle I did take like a lumen tool and use that because it got like tighter that gave me like tighter curls Like when it came to my edges, we just tie the curls, then just fluff them up. And then see, it'll be two flowers like that. And then I'm just going to glue them together using the uh, using my glue gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that heat up. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and continue curling the rest. All right, another thing I want to come on here and show you guys that um, the first two here I end up curling under, but I actually wanted to try something different, so I ended up curling them like up just to see how that would look. I still don't know um, which one I'm gonna like better. So this is like what they look like curled up. And then you know the curl down. Don't know how it's gonna come out. Got my glue gun ready. I'm gonna go ahead and start attaching them. All right, you guys, now I gotta try to figure out how I'm going to attach these onto the flowers. The only thing I could come up with was I have a circle thinlet right here. I'm gonna cut out a bunch of circles, one for each flower. Um, you know, use this as the base on the back to poke a hole. You'll see, hopefully, Hopefully this comes out correct. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of these and I'm going to try to figure out a way to attach these. I'm going to try to see if I can poke a hole in the Oh, I did. Okay, I was able to poke a hole in the middle. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these here and... I'm going to glue them down like that and then attach it to the back. Okay, that one's too big. And then attach it to the back like that. So, I guess I did figure it out. All right, this is what we got so far. I have not fluffed them up. I'm still going to fluff them up. Um, I'm just trying to get the structure down. And I'm also thinking that I probably should have put the center piece on before I did all this. But, I mean, hey, it's done now. What's done is done. Um, so I'm trying to open up my floral tape so that I can wrap this green stuff and it won't look 
you know, so kitty. If I can open it. All right, you guys. So, I've got some um, rhinestones here. Still not really sure on what colors I'm doing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really not. But I do know that for the ones that have like gold in it, I do want to put gold rhinestones on those. So that I do know for sure. And I'm just going to add some hot glue. I could use my hot fix tool, but you guys. I honestly don't feel like plucking it up. Like, I just... I'm not feeling it today. Just trying to get done. Okay, so... I'm trying to figure out, do I want to put glue on the rhinestone or on this? Which one would be less of a mess? Mm, well, these are pretty big rhinestones, but probably... That wasn't too bad. Just be sure to take all the little strings out of the little hot glue. But that's what that's looking like so far. Alright you guys, this is the last one that I have to fluff up. And I'm just putting them in a vase for right now until I get ready to ship them off. But you guys, let me know how I did and let me know if you like... Uh, yeah, you guys, this is what it's looking like so far. Let me scoot it over. Yeah. Let me know if you guys like the, yeah, the curled up ones, the one that's going down. What do you think? How do you guys think this came out? 12 flowers, not bad. And I took these from what, Walmart. These are 97 cents. And I mixed them with these. That was $2.50 from Walmart. So not bad. I was going to add some tissue flowers, but honestly, I think, I think they look fine. Yeah, like, you guys, I think they look fine. Thank you so much for joining me and uh if you have any questions at all please feel free to ask and as always i will see you guys very soon bye